Zorark V-Star is one of the free decks you get in Pokemon TCG Live. It's a deck that not many people are talking about, and that's with good reason. Zorark V-Star hasn't been a meta-relevant deck in quite some time. It can be temperamental to set up, even though its damage potential is so intriguing. However, recently at a late night event, which is the largest online tournament series for the Pokemon trading card game, uh, it got third place. Shoutouts to El Tristo for the amazing performance with Zorark V-Star. And you know, was this a one-time thing? Was it a sign of things to come? Maybe Zorark could work its way back into the meta, or at the very least, it's potentially a way to upgrade this free deck and have something that can compete with other meta decks. I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about El Tristo's Zorark V-Star deck. So Zorark V-Star is a colorless Pokemon weak to fighting, which probably isn't going to be that big of a deal. Uh, there's not that much fighting right now. Greninja, Terra Greninja could be a problem going forward, but we'll see. 270 HP, 2 retreat, and it's got the attack Ticking Curse, which for 2 colorless, colorless energy does 50 damage for each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and if you've got six pokemon with damage counters you're doing 300 damage now most of the time you're powering this up with the double turbo energy and you're gonna lose 20 damage off of that so you're doing 280 damage most of the time which is still good enough to one shot any basic ex any basic v and then most of the stage one exs and v's will get one shotted by zorark as well which is a very intriguing proposition now it also has the ability phantom star where you get to discard your hand and draw seven cards and that's basically a free professor's research and that's awesome to try and find those double turbo energies and find some other resources you may need to get rolling so let's dive into the deck here. We've got a 4-3 line of Zorark V-Star. Zorark V is not bad either. It has the attack Void Return, where for no energy, you do 30 damage, and you can switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So you could throw something into the active that you don't care about to, to get knocked out so that you can get you can protect your Zoroarks for the following turn. We also have the 3-3 line of Dodrio. Now, Dodrio is a stage 1 Pokemon, 100 HP. It has the ability Zooming Draw, where once during your turn, you may put one damage counter on this Pokemon, and if you do, draw a card. So you get a little bit of a draw engine here with Zorark, and also taking the damage is a good thing here, because you're not only powering up Zorark's attack, but you're also powering up Dodrio's attack. For one colorless energy, Ballistic Beak does 10 damage, and it does 30 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So this can also do upwards of 280 damage if you get all the way to 9. Most of the time you're not going to get there, but you can use this to finish off multi-prize Pokemon or knock out single prize attackers to keep the prize race even. So really nice addition to this deck. We've got Manaphy and, Jira Manaphy and Jirachi to protect the bench. We have Radiant Alakazam to move damage counters. You can move up to two damage counters from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another one of their Pokemon. And there will be times where you're just not doing the right amount of damage, and you could potentially move some off of a target to soften up something else on the bench. And it's a really nice way of closing the gap in certain matchups. And last but not least, we've got two copies of Gengar with that Netherworld Gate ability where once during your turn, if this Pokemon's in the discard pile, you can put it on your bench and then put three damage counters on it. So this is a great way of getting damaged Pokemon on the bench. And even if it gets knocked out, you can just throw it back on the bench again. Again. For trainer cards, we've got three copies of Boss's Orders. We get to gust a opposing bench Pokemon into the active. Four copies of Damage Pump. This is an incredibly important card to Zorark V-Star because you can move up to two damage counters from one of your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like, allowing you to spread that damage around and make it so that your Zorark V-Star is doing more damage, or you could load up damage counters onto a Dodrio to make it hit even harder. One copy of Lost Vacuum to get out any sort of tools or stadiums that are in the way. In particular, some HP boosting ones like a Hero's Cape or a Bravery Charm or the Ancient Booster Capsule can really mess up your math. So Lost Vacuum can just get those out of the way. One copy of Super Rod to get in any combination of basic energy and Pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck. One copy of Maximum Belt, which is an awesome addition to this deck where it lets you do 50 more damage to Pokemon EX 
So now if you've got six damage Pokemon and you've got maximum belt and your Zorark V-Star has a double turbo energy attached, you are doing 330 damage, which is enough to one hit KO a Charizard and pretty much any meta relevant Pokemon. So absolutely amazing addition to this deck. One copy of Palpad to put two supporters from our discard pile back into our deck. One copy of Switch, where you just get to switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. This can be nice to pick the right attacker or put a damaged attacker back on the bench and attack with a fresh one. We've got three copies of Trekking Shoes, which lets you look at the top card of your deck. And if you like it, you can keep it. If you don't like it, you can discard it. And this can be great to get the Gengar in the discard pile or just help you dig deeper into your deck to find the resources that you need. We got one copy of Sharon's Care, which lets you put one of your colorless Pokemon that have any damage counters on it back into your hand and this can be used to heal a Zorark and you get to keep the energy on it so if you've got a damaged Zorark in the active with the double turbo energy you can just scoop that up then put a Zorark V into the active put the Zorark V star onto the Zorark V and then the double turbo energy as well and you basically negate your opponent's last turn which is fantastic Three copies of Great Ball lets you look at the top seven cards of your deck and reveal a Pokemon you find there, put it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. This, po this deck does need a lot of Pokemon Search. And so we do have some extra Pokemon Search here besides Ultra Ball. But on top of that, you really want to have the Pokemon in hand to bench them because you don't want them to go directly to the bench because that works against Gapejaw Bog. Gapejaw Bog reads whenever either player benches, puts a basic Pokemon from their hand onto their bench, you put two damage counters on that Pokemon. And so Nest Ball skips Gapejaw Bog, but Great Ball does not. So you will want Great Balls instead here. Four copies of Iono for hand disruption. Both players shuffle their hands into their deck hands puts it to the bottom of their deck and then draws equal to the number of prizes they have remaining so great disruption card and can potentially help you make a massive comeback and then four copies of ultra ball discard two cards grab a pokemon of our choice again another way to discard that gengar and then professor's research discard our hand draw seven cards we got four copies of those there and then for our energy counts double turbo energy absolutely massive in the deck lets us power up zorark in one attachment but we also have a couple single singleton energies as well including one jet energy which can be a great pivot one copy of um psychic energy which also opens the door for gengar to attack and even radiant alakazam can attack if you attach this on here and radiant alakazam's attack isn't necessarily the worst either mind ruler for a psychic and a colorless does 20 damage card damage for each card in your opponent's hand so certain decks will get punished really bad by that but that's that's like your plan x attack <laughs> and gengar's attack for by the way is screaming circle for one psychic energy put two damage counters on your opponent's active pokemon for each of your opponent's bench pokemon so this could be up to 100 damage counters which is could be enough to finish the job and then two copies of mist energy where it prevents the effects of attack so stuff like giratina v stars uh, star requiem or roaring moon's frenzy gouging they will not be able to instant ko you if you've got mist energy on so yeah gozorak v star is a interesting archetype i think it's always one that has been intriguing because like being able to do 280 damage on turn two sounds so cool but it it always requires so many things to fall into place and you have to have them all in the right order like you need to have gape jaw bog out before you bench all the pokemon so you can get the damage out and you have to find the damage pump and you have to find the double turbo energy it's a lot and i don't know if zorark v star is ever going to crack the meta at this point in time but if you run hot and like as demonstrated by El Tristo in the late night tournament, like it can compete with some of the best decks in the game and some of the new additions, the Dodrio, the Max Belt, give it even more tools to succeed in this format. And I know like at the time of this recording, this video, we're at the tail end of Temporal Forces and Twilight Masquerade is around the corner. I don't know how much is going to change for this deck going forward if there is some major changes we'll come back to this but i think this is a great starting point for upgrading the zorark v-star deck into something more competitive let's check out these matches okay we'll bet you zorark arceus okay um they get the double turbo off the rip nest ball is this just control Arceus right now? Hmm. I kind of...
kind of don't want to i could attach to zorark i don't want to though and i think we need to iono i like i want to bench this one because i i have to get okay okay three ionos off the uh let's go iono right away well iono after the zorark Okay. Um, we get ourselves a Doduo. And we get the Gape Job Blog, which is fantastic. And we get a Manaphy. Now, Manaphy's not going to help us in this match. So I'm not going to bench it right away. Um, actually, I might bench it just to get knocked out by the Arceus here. That's probably the play. And let's go Void Return for 30. And I will bring Manaphy in. I should have played... I should have played Damage Pump. So I could move the damage. Yeah, that was a no that was uh, a misplay on my part. I should have moved the damage off of Manaphy so that we would have more damaged Pokemon on the board later, because this could be a problem. <sighs> That's my fault. That's my fault. Okay, let's see. It'll be interesting to see what they bench here. Second Bidoof. I'm guessing this is some sort of control variant of Arceus. If it is, that should be fine. Yeah. If they're playing the control version of Arceus, it sucks. Nest Ball gets around Gape Job Bog. We can one-shot Arceus's over and over again. So this isn't necessarily the worst matchup for us. Now, getting rid of damage pumps does kind of suck, though, if they do decide to play the Airy here. They have to get they probably have to get a double turbo energy here off of the Arceus V-Star, so. Uh, let's see what they play next. Maybe an Iono, maybe a Judge. That would kind of suck because I like our hand right now. Yeah, there's the Judge. Okay. This is not bad. It does suck that we will have to get rid of the jet energy here and they're going to vacuum away the gate job bug that's unfortunate and they get their squovit but they only have one card they only have one card so this could be uh actually it does suck that we lost the the stadium and we also lost the pump with the judge so this could be bad this could be bad this could let's see where it goes from here they only have one card, though, so they have put themselves at a resource deficit, assuming that's not, like, a B-Burl. Okay. Let's see what we can do. We're not out. We're not out. We have stuff that we can... We have some levers we can pull here. Right? There's the damage pump. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's go and zooming draw. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I... <laughs> Okay, can I do... Can I go like this? Ooh, I can spread it, right? Yeah, that's actually kind of good that I did that first. Let's go and research. Zorark, please. Okay, let's go dig. Yes! Now, we will attach energy. And we're only doing 130 right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I want to get rid of this energy? Uh, I might. I might want to get rid of this. I might. Yeah, let's go and Phantom Star here and see if we can hit big. Okay, Gengar is good. Ooh, yes. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. So we're going to bench. Yeah, Trekking Shoes, Dig. Yeah, we'll keep that damage pump. And we will get rid of... Ugh. Actually, we'll get rid of a damage pump. We'll get Gengar, damage pump, and let's go grab a... Yeah, I think at this point, we'll grab a Dodrio. 
Yeah, we, we hit the wombo combo here. We take the damage. Gengar comes out. Netherworld Gate. Uh, we can evolve the Zorark up. And we can damage pump off of the... Let's damage pump off this Zorark. And just put one here. And now we swing for 280 damage. And now they're in a horrible spot. Man, we turned that around real quick. Zero to a hundred real quick. The trade-off is we did get rid of three of our energy, including a double turbo. And that's not good. Now, they're going to put some damage on themselves as well. I don't know if that matters too much. And that's fine that they Iono does here. We actually get more cards. And we get a fresh look. And we get a double turbo energy as well. If they are playing Control Arceus, they're probably not running Crushing Hammer. But I could be wrong. Uh, This was... It's an updated build. This actually got third place at Late Night this week. So we are, we're trying it out. Okay, Devolution. Oh, they're just getting rid of it so they can draw more cards. Or thin the deck. Them not having a Bibaral in play is absolutely massive. And that Iono was actually great for us. We can get the switch out. Oh, Grabber. Yeah, they can get rid of Jirachi. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, Trinity Nova for 200. That's that's totally okay. Um, they've got no cards. We can one-shot this Zorark right now. Or one-shot this Arceus right now. We're going to actually draw with Zooming Draw. We're going to switch out. I'm going to keep this one alive. So one of the big trade-offs, yeah, or one of the big benefits to Zorark, we can go switch out. And now we've got a fresh Zorark, and we're still hitting for 280. Um, no, we don't need Super Rod right now. We'll just hit for 280. And they're in a horrible spot. This is absolutely awful for them. Bang, we get a boss, and, and this should be it. This should be it. Yeah, I think we got... Man, we flipped this around real good. And and to be fair, I think Zorark does have an advantage if it can get set up. Like th This deck is temperamental and there will be times when it does not work the way you want it to. But when Zorark pops off, it can be absolutely devastating where, yeah, we're just taking one shots on Arceus Vsar. This is the type of deck that you really want <laughs> with the Zorark matchup where you can take these massive one-hit KOs on multi-prize Pokemon. But to be fair, the, the Dodrio, it does also help out keep damage on the board, and it can be a decent single-prize attack option as well. Um, didn't need it that time. We just kind of plowed through a whole bunch of Arceuses there, and they were not able to keep up. I think on their end... Unfortunately, in order to get the Arceuses set up, they ended up thinning out their hand a lot. They could not get a Beebrel in play. Maybe there, there was an opportunity for them to do so and they didn't take it. But not having that extra draw power really put them at the mercy of what they were top decking. And we ended up winning the game because of that. GG's. Well, let's see. I don't have no idea what we're up against. Kenzie Kuhn says, watch a Jewel GG Snorlax Control Max, most toxic thing you've seen. Um, Yeah, Snorlax is... um. Snorlax is rough. Ugh, squawk and seize. This makes me think I don't need the Jirachi. I could, I could regret that. There is potential for me to regret that. Let's go and grab the... Um, I'm going to grab a second Zorark just in case they, they obliterate the one in the active. Now, the problem is, we have three Pokemon on the board. Oh! 
Oh, no. Grab her. Come on, man. I could have put Zora or... I should have put Gengar on the bench. What is it? What are these decks today? We're playing ranked right now, too, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. R block. Uh, 270 HP. Menacing Fangs does 150 damage, and they discard two cards from your hand. I think this should be fine. They are going to transform into... What are they going to transform into? Oh, Greninja? Okay. Rank be casual? Yeah, weirdly. I don't think we need the max... Uh, right now, no. We can just shuffle that back in. And of course they have the two. Like, if we could... No, we we're not going to be able to snipe that out. Saw this 26 energy Kingdra list. It brings me vibes of Gyarados from Team Up back in the day. Cool. Okay. They're going to squawk and seize. Hand trimmer. Like, what? What is this? Okay. And they're get, of course, they get, like, the perfect setup here. All right. We'll play it out. We'll play it out. I have not played against an Arbok deck before. Um, it seems annoying, but they also don't do a lot of damage. But we also don't need a lot to get rolling here. We don't need a lot. And as long as we don't... Ah, uh, the Alec... Uh, the Alakazam would be annoying, but we can attack with the Alakazam if it really came down to it. And we could theoretically attack with the Gengar too. Because yeah, the, I would imagine that they'd probably try and trap. Screaming Circle, damage counters to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay, and a Darkrai too. It sucks also because we're going to give them... They have a Mew EX. Okay, they're not going to bench the Darkrai. That's fine. You wanted weird? I wanted to play a weird deck. I didn't want to fight against weird decks. Because the other problem is, the problem with me fighting weird decks as a, a YouTube content creator in the Pokemon TCG. Yeah, here we go. Me playing weird decks. Oh, we're gonna get shot. They still have cards? Awesome. And I just get judged into a dead hand. The problem with fighting weird decks is that it's easy to describe. If I win, <laughs> if I win this match, then the people on YouTube are just like, yeah, well, you, you fought against like a, a weird rogue deck that nobody plays anyways. <laughs> so like this is a lose-lose. I can't do anything right now. And yeah, now they start to hit 150. And I don't have, yeah, discard two cards from hand. Like, this is miserable. Oh, okay, yeah, and, and, and they just grab away. Then. Uh, I haven't really paid attention to much Twin Leaf. I know that's a thing on the way. Um, I don't, I, I would. The I, I if there are other ways to play the Pokemon trading card game, uh, yeah, that, that would be great. If it works better than this, sure. And is it discard opponent discards two from their hand? This sucks. Like, I don't know how we get out of this now. <laughs> I don't know if it's... Oh, uh, there we go. 
There we go. What is the... Okay. If we go like this, we damage pump. We can stall for time here. But not really. That's one retreat. And we just wait. And yeah, they're just... This is the absolute perfect thing that they want. We have no cards. They just keep chipping away at us and until we do nothing. Yeah. So they hit for 150, 150. Um, this could change very quickly, but it all depends on what we top deck here. Yeah. Judge is fantastic for us, actually. Okay. We could make this work. We could make this work. They knock out Gengar. We just put it back on the bench anyway. That doesn't matter. Oh, we have to discard two cards. Okay, we have to get rid of the trekking shoes. I forgot about that part. Okay. Let's go in. Let's go in with the fresh Zora. I need... Gape Chop. Oh, wait. That does nothing. Okay. Um, I just make this worse for myself. That was dumb. That was, oh my goodness. I don't get the thing. Okay. There's a Zorark. Um, no, this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. What am I supposed to do here? Another world gate. Put more damage on there. And yeah, we just void return again. I think. Do we? I think we bench this one too. And we just do we give them more prizes or do we try and tank with the Zorark at this point? I think we try and tank with the Zorark. And we do we give them more prizes? I don't want to. So we'll tank a hit with this one. Yeah, I I need a Zorark V-Star. I just need a Zorark V-Star and we can obliterate this and potentially just run away with this game. And they're going to boss up. Probably the Dodrio. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. Wow. This is absolutely miserable. Okay. This can still flip. They have not gotten... The thing to hold out hope here is they have not gotten the second Ekans set up. So... Here we go. Draw a card. Please, no! Um, let's go into this one. I cannot believe... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have the worst luck in the world right now. Please, don't, as long as they don't get... Like, we can still win this. We have the we have the firepower to one-shot Arbok EX. I still don't think this, this Arbok deck is real. When Unfair Stamp comes out, I think this is going to be a problem. But right now... And of course they have crushing hammers. And of course they're going to hit heads. And of course I got punished for playing that energy when I really shouldn't have. There was no point in me playing it. Oh, now they're going to start to get the second one rolling. Oh no, and I lost the two. Okay. I still don't... Okay, Zorar, please. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We finally 
Have some stuff here. Potentially. There's a Gengar. Um, trekking shoes. Um, no. There's Mist Energy. Uh, let's go switch Zorark V-Star in. And let's let it rip. Phantom Star, please. There's the double turbo. Uh, we get a second Zorark here. That's fantastic. And... Gengar, please. Okay. How much damage are we doing? 250. That it, oh, we lost the max belt too. Um, this is still enough. This is still enough because of all the chip damage we did. Just enough. All right, don't count us out just yet. Don't cut us, count us out just yet. Okay, Iono's good. Iono's good. Yeah, Aerie doesn't do anything. Yes. Yep, they're going to bring in the more Pico. That's fine. All right, so cue the comeback. Cue the comeback. Um, damage pump, yes. We are going to move damage off of... Actually, you know what? Yeah, we have, we'll move it off this. Um, and we'll go one here. And we can still... We'll zooming draw. I think, yeah, we can still win this. Ultra ball, I don't want to do that right now. I will attach Psychic Energy to... This is going to get us to... Yeah, I think we want to keep it on the Zorark here. And let's go Iono. Freshen up the hand a little bit. There's the Alakazam. We get a Sharon's Care, which is... Yeah, now we're hitting for 280. So we should be one-shotting our box... Regardless. Yeah, Arbok only has 270, so. Oh, can we close that? Uh, the grabber is kind of annoying, but it doesn't matter. We're bench locked anyway. Where we could run into trouble is, let's see what they've got. Oh, come on. Uh, Azale QQ, hey, love the YouTube content. Got me into the TCG. I went to your first local event this week. It was super fun. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Pokemon TCG. Um, I have not been to, I've been to, I've played at regionals. I played at regionals once, and that's the only event I've played at. Um, but I do hope to play at local soon. Okay, they get their Darkrai V-Star. They're going to get a bunch of items, which is annoying. Uh, do I have a third V-Star? I think I do. The Sharon's Care could be good, but like... Yeah, because they could take this KO. This is actually I want to deny this. Oh, we have crushing hammer again. No. Tails. Come on. What do we even have left? We've lost three of our double turbos. I have a jet energy in there. I know that much. We can share and if we can get the jet energy out, we could potentially fix this, but it's not looking great. Hey, Idawa, welcome back. How you doing? And Airy, yeah, they're going to get rid of the ultra balls. Profoundly annoying. 
but we can like get ourselves back to this damage state with um Sharon's care of Gapejaw Bog is out. So when we bench the Zorark V, we do another 10 damage. Um, so let's see how they play it. And it'll be very telling. Yeah, okay, Greninja, they don't have it like that. They don't have it like that. Jet energy, please. Okay, Zorark V Star is not bad. Let's go zooming draw. Gapejaw. No. Uh can't do anything. We will wait. I don't want to play the Sharon's Care right now. I might be... Uh. Yeah, I'm also concerned... Uh, if they trap the Gengar... If they trap the Gengar, I think we're screwed regardless. Oh, this match is... Whoa. And Feral Games says, want to see... Uh... Hold on. Hold on. Give me a sec, guys. Oh, there's my TTE. There we go. Sorry about that. Note to self, if I do end up putting that in the video, I'll have to block out that entire section where it ended up on the screen. <laughs> Countercatcher, don't trap the Gengar. Uh, that, okay. I hope they play. That was not the thing to trap. That was not the thing to trap. And they're having trouble setting up here. Oh, we still get the Sharon's Care back. That's fantastic. Please leave the Mew in the active. I think they have to... They, they're kind of stuck. Yeah, they're... Oh my goodness, what a... They have to leave the Mew in the active because if they lose the Ekans, they lose the game. And all of these are two prize targets. I would have brought the Dark Rod. Oh, they... Yeah. So this is what we do. We Sharon's Care away the Zorark. We bring Zorark V-Star back in. We bench the other one for the extra damage. And we knock out Mew for 280 damage and win the game. Oh my goodness. That was horrible. That was horrible. I don't ever want to play that again. <laughs> um, yeah, we started off so bad with such awful hands, and they milled so many cards from us. But the big thing with Zorark V-Star is that Zorark V-Star hits like a truck, and we were able to, we able to put ourselves in positions to take one-shots on their multi-prize Pokemon and knock out their single-prize Pokemon, too. Um, the first Arbok came down, like we gradually chipped at it until we took the KO. I probably should have shouldn't shouldn't have played the double turbo till I was ready to attack. Cause of course they run double tur or they run crushing hammer to to knock those off. Um I was looking really grim, but thankfully we were able to pull that off in the end. They should have. Um yeah, they I think at the end. That was a misplay there. They should have brought the Gengar in. If they trapped the Gengar, I'm pretty sure we would have lost. But instead, they tried to trap the Zorark, and we were able to sh just Sharon's care that out of play and smash with the Zorark V-Star. GG's. There we go. That is a look at Zorark V-Star. Interesting deck archetype here one that's kind of been on the the outs kind of teetering like it has seen some tournament finishes back in the day during lost origin but hasn't really seen much play since and uh recently got that top three at late night again shout outs to el tristo for the great performance and yeah it's at, at the very least you run hot and you could potentially um keep up with some of the best decks in the game and shout outs to um 
who, who is this in the, the chat where someone said, um, I can't see the message anymore, but someone mentioned hyper aroma as a potential thing. And that could be a card that is worth running in here as well to get the Dodrios out. I don't think it's as valuable as maximum belt at first glance. Like I think the 50 damage being able to one shot a Charizard or a little tone. Okay. I think that's more valuable being able to one shot a Charizard or a Dragapult is going to be more valuable than getting the three uh, Dodrios and oftentimes you don't get all th three Dodrios out anyway, but it does give you some more deck building options nevertheless. Uh, but you don't get Hazuya and Zorark with... This is actually a good point. Um, the the Hyper Aroma gets you Stage 1 Pokemon, and Zorark is not a Stage 1. It is a V-Star. So, yeah, the Hyper Aroma is not going to work to getting V-Stars out, which is a, a good thing to note. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to keep this in the video. <laughs> All right. Uh, but for now, I got to get going. Twitch fam, stick around. We're going to keep playing. But for our YouTube friends, we're going to be saying goodbye. So here's some quick plugs before we go. Uh, you can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at in third person. You can find me on Twitch at in third person where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Yes, it's the famous Lil Tone up here. And check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.